Hi, in this video, I'm going to share with you three gems that you could call hidden treasure in the Kotlin language. My name is Shad Sluter, and I teach software development at Grand Canyon University. So this video is part of a series of mobile development, and Kotlin is a very important language when Android development is concerned. And so what we're going to look at here are three things that you may not have known you can do with Kotlin. Number one is what we would call extension functions. So let me give you an example of an extension here. So let's delete the uh, original hello world and I'm going to paste in some new code. Let's say I wanted to create a custom function called shout and it would just take a parameter and then add the word hello with some exclamation marks after it. So what would that result? If you look in the console, you'll see that we have hello shad and it'll have exclamation marks. Now let's add another version of this. So I'm going to paste in some more code. So this time it's called an extension function. So I'm going to take the string class, which is pretty standard stuff, right? It's a built into Kotlin. I can actually modify that. I don't change the original, but I add a new function to it. And so I'm going to call this new function shout. You can see that it takes the parameter called saying, and what it does is just returns a string. So now I can have hello shout and then provide my name again. So let's run that and you should see the exact same thing. So what you see there is called an extension function. Another treasure that you might find in Kotlin that would surprise you is what we would have is named and default parameters. So let's paste in some more code here. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is a function called print person. And print person will just print things. It will take three parameters. It'll take name, age, and city. And you can see that I have provided a default value for age. So 25 is a default value and the city is defaulted to unknown. However, the name has no default value. So if I were to print this, I could say print person, I'm gonna give John Phoenix an age 50. So that should not be a surprise if when you look in the console you see the name is John, the age is 50, and the city is Phoenix. But let's take a look at the second example. So on commenting, I give it John and NYC, but I skip the age. So what is the age going to be? Let's find out. And we find out that the age defaults to 25. So that's kind of a cool idea. So if the, if the user doesn't provide a value, you have a default value. So if, uh, if you got nothing, uh, then you can change it to something. Uh, let's take the next example down here. So if I provide just John, then the other two default values will kick in. So John is 25 and the city is unknown. But if we look at the last example here, I can say take 45 in Phoenix and you can see that it's throwing an error. It says here no value is passed for name and which it is not, a, not allowed to do that right now because there is no default up here. I could fix that. I could just say that string equals no name and now if I run it we can see that no name is the first person's name. So that's a pretty cool feature that you might find in the treasure chest of Kotlin is that you can have default names for parameters as they're passed into a function. So the third function that we're going to see here is called destructuring parameters. Now you may have seen this in JavaScript or other languages, but for some people it's new. So let's start here with some code. I'm going to create a value called pair. Now a pair is a numbered pair. So in some languages you would call this a, an associative array or a point or a tuple, but in Kotlin it's called a pair and you can associate shad to teacher. So if I wanted to say uh, person one is pair and first item, I could assign it and pair second and get roll one. And so when I print that, it's going to show me at the bottom, it's gonna say shad is teacher. So that is assigning values without destructuring. Now I'm gonna show you the new thing that you can do in Kotlin. So let's pair this up again. So let's do destructuring this time. This time I'm going to assign pair to person two and roll two. And notice how it's assigned. It's automatically picking first and second and putting them in. So now if I print that, I should get the same results. I have shad is teacher or the teacher as it might say here, but it is an assignment here. This is the new stuff. It's destructuring. So if you have lots of values in an array or an object, then you can simply assign them with parentheses. So destructuring is a cool feature that you find in Kotlin. Now I've got some more features, so I'll put another video here if you like that one. Follow the next and I'll show you some more features. Also, I'll put a playlist here. If you want to learn Kotlin from scratch and become an Android developer, then join me in the playlist and we can go to class together. Make sure you subscribe if this is interesting to you and I'll see you soon.